Good morning, Steve Reed with the morning grain comments. Markets are somewhat mixed overnight. We've got beans up another 10 to 11 cents. Meal making new contract highs. Uh, we've got soybean oil that's trading over 50 cents, 57 cents a pound, almost 58 cents a pound. Corn's up a couple of cents, while wheat's anywhere from four to six cents lower. In the beans, I think we're still trading uh, increase money flow because of concern about South American weather. <clears throat> in the first week of the forecast, some of these dry areas in South America will see some shower activity, but the second week brings warm and dry conditions back. <clears throat> also in the United States, you know, we've got some cold temperatures in the north, snow, uh, rain across the northern areas, uh, rain in the delta, but the southern plains is still uh, mostly dry. I think the wheat market yesterday uh, dropped uh, from key resistance levels uh, because the talk of Iraq delaying their tender until January 3rd, and some people that they thought they might source some of that out of the U.S., and the fact that Russia's getting snow and, and snow cover, and that precip is going to help, uh, number one, insulate the crop from cold temperatures, but number two, offer some moisture in the spring. I think long-term, the wheat market is will be supported by potential for lower U.S. 2022 uh, wheat crop and tighter supplies. The um, commodity index rallied over resistance at the 565 area in the Goldman Sachs index. <clears throat> That's led by energies and soybeans and precious metals. So uh, the next support is 581, and some people think that we might achieve that uh, over the next 30 days. We also noted that last week managed funds added 43,000 contracts in the CBOT grain room. They're up to 422,000 long all of the grains. Um, the next question is, over well, the next 30 days, if nothing fundamentally changes as far as weather is concerned, they could be uh, long as much as 500 to 525,000 contracts. Uh, last week, they added 30,000 contracts of beans, uh, 10 meal, 6 soybean oil, 14 corn, but increased their net short position in Chicago wheat by 4,000 contracts. They're still long 59,000 contracts of KC and 13 Minneapolis. <clears throat> we did note that a few people are bringing down the South American crop productions. In the beans, one group says it'll be down 10 million tons and 6 million tons exports. Another group is only dropping at 3.5 million metric tons. So that'll be something that the market is going to have to watch. Also, the Motif rapeseed made all-time highs. I think that uh, it's the leader in the veg oil market, and I think it's because there's some restrictions on using soybean oil and palm oil in Europe for biodiesel. So they have to use the rapeseed oil, and that makes things extremely tight. <clears throat> And so soybean oil is trying to catch up to uh, rapeseed oil because really can't have a lot of increased uh, export demand for soybean oil given the long-term outlook of we using soybean oil as a feedstuff also for biodiesel. <clears throat> we also note that the uh, Motif corn futures are trading two week highs. So um, we're, we're gonna be trying to figure out uh, for the rest of this year Money flow, um, inflation, uh, the Omicron virus. Some people think that energies are up because the Omicron virus may not be as strong as other viruses. As always, uh, these are my thoughts and not ADM-made invest services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.